Essex 71-24 to make it 11 wins in a row and their first championship since 1969. There were plenty of spills too. Paul's Craig Boyce came a cropper. I um, sort of went past the corner a bit and Martin Goodwin got a bit of drive and come underneath me and T-boned me and I was off into the fence. Uh, having that, I knocked give me head a bit of a knock. I've got a bit of a headache now, but um, I should be all right. Two of the Essex riders were less fortunate. They needed treatment after heavy falls and were out of the match. Paul were far quicker than their opponents. They took maximum points from 10 of the 16 heats. The crowd of more than 4,000 played their part, cheering the Pirates all the way. Paul had been runners-up in three of the last four seasons, but this year they were champions. Skipper Alan Rossiter collected his team's reward. It's not very often that many riders have the privilege of being league champions in their career, but all these riders have started off, and they're mostly young riders, and they've started off becoming real, uh, league champions, so maybe they'll do it again. They seem quite pleased over there. Oh, the crowd, the crowd are really pleased, and they, they are living it up, that's for sure. See, what a feeling. <laughs> oh, it's magic. I'll tell you, so you've never felt a feeling like this. It's, the supporters, look at them. It's brilliant. I can't believe it. The champagne flowed long into the night. Chris Morn, Coast to Coast, Paul. Congratulations. Well, the happiest marriages tend to be ones... ...league last night. They overwhelmed Arena Essex by 71 points to 24 to record their biggest win of the season and secure their first title since winning the British League back in 1969. John Hughes reports. The biggest crowd of the season at Pool Stadium, just over 4,000 flocked to the track with the local heroes Pool Pirates widely expected to notch up yet another victory. To start with though, it seemed Arena Essex hadn't read the script. The rank outsiders stunned the crowd by winning the first heat by a 5-1 maximum. But then the Pirates took over, showing just why they'd been unbeaten in their previous 10 meetings. Lee Adams, the Australian teenager, who's had a marvellous season, raced clear to win Heat 4 as Poole built up an eight-point lead. Then in the next heat, everything went wrong for Arena Essex. On the first bend, Wayne Garrett crashed, and after trackside treatment, he was taken away by ambulance. The race was rerun, only for the captain, Martin Goodwin, to be involved in a spectacular double spill. He too left in an ambulance and, like Garrett, took no further part in the match, although neither man was seriously injured. After that, it was pool pirates all the way. They won 14 of the 16 heats, with Adams riding to a 15-point maximum and his fellow Australian Craig Boyce collecting 13 points. Poole won the match by a massive 47-point margin, and that long-overdue title was safely wrapped up with three meetings to spare. Well done, then. Now, with ever easy... The makeup room of They Think It's All Over. This one today, Mr. Gale? Yeah, it looks fine to me. Nice one, huh?